What's up guys? It's dip day today. Um, last week we did 10 minute push-ups and I like to do chest once a week. And I like to alternate between doing push-ups for 10 minutes and doing dips. So um, the previous time we did dips, we did 23 per minute for 10 minutes. Uh, if you're new to the channel, it's not a minute rest in between each set. We're basically doing a set at the minute, on the minute, and then resting the remaining time uh, before our next set. We started this challenge and we started um, most of these series um, doing 10 per minute and each time we've built up by adding one more rep per minute. And that's kind of the premise of this channel is, you know, finding simple workouts that are super high efficiency. It's not going to take a lot of time. You're going to work your cardio while you're doing it. You're going to be, um, you know, not just sitting around on your phone at the gym. You're really just working, resting in between for just a brief time. And then you're moving on to your day. Um, so one thing I really push is gradual progression and the 10 minute workout I think is ideal for that because it, uh, it kind of forces you to get through the set, go as fast as you can, get the rep in and it's not really asking too much to just do one more rep each time, you know, so you have a mental um, Kind of process knowing if you got 10 minutes if you got 10 reps per minute for 10 minutes the next time you go do this workout you know you can do 10 so you're getting up to that 10 and you're just pushing for that extra one each time and um, you know you'll be getting stronger and mentally it's going to make you tougher it's going to make you kind of focus the big thing people don't realize is the mental game is very important especially when it comes to your focus on the rep, your focus on the workout. And that's what's lacking for a lot of people. You know, not having that, that plan, that goal, and that mental focus where you're really pushing your body to get that done. If you wanna do this workout with me, you can pause the video. We're gonna be starting in just a few mo moments. We're gonna be doing 24 per minute for 10 minutes. And um, if you're new to this channel, if you're not working out, you can adjust, go lower, if you don't have a dip bar, you can do push-ups, and if you're, maybe your chest is sore, you can basically modify this for any other workout. You could do it for lunges, you could do it for squats, you could do it for sit-ups, and if you take a look at the channel, we have lots of those other videos. All right, about to get started. All right, guys, we got 24 dips per minute for 10 minutes, and we're starting in 5, 4, 3, 2, go. Okay, first set's 18 seconds. Um, surprisingly feeling pretty loose. You know, I've, I've been um, a bit inconsistent in uh, my push-ups and dips. I've been doing a lot of jiu-jitsu, a lot of grappling, um, and I've had family in town, been busy, so haven't done as many, and maybe that rest sometimes is good. We've got 15 seconds, everything feels loose. We'll see how it goes as the workout goes on. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, go. Seconds, we shave up two seconds, still feeling good. Uh, you know, in the past, it's usually taken about four sets till I feel warmed up, but uh, maybe it's also the warmer weather. 25 seconds, let's focus on the set in front of us. 15 seconds. 10 seconds. 
five, four, three, two, go. Okay, 15 seconds, we got one second faster. Um, I'm going to probably try to pick it up a little bit. Feeling warmed up, feeling good. 30 seconds till our next set. We're three in. Um, if you don't have the dip bar, maybe you're doing push ups right now. That's definitely a good substitution, but um, as you get stronger, I'd recommend considering you know, getting a dip bar or going to a park where you can do some dips. Five seconds, because it's just, uh, I think, a lot better. Two, one, go! seconds, 40 seconds till we go, uh, breathe, Whew. all right, so we've got chest today, um, I'm probably going to be a bit inconsistent for the next two weeks, I have a trip coming up. I want to get back into finishing the ab series, the V-up series. 10 seconds, um, doing some pull-ups. Haven't done rows in a while, five seconds. Three, two, go. Pretty good still. We've got 35 seconds of rest. Um, yeah, I haven't done a row workout or pull-up workout in a while. I had been looking at um, you know different pull-up bar options. I got one that uh, hangs on the door and it kind of messed up my door, um, my doorway. So. Got rid of that one, and now I'm going to be looking at a standalone. Seven seconds. Four, three, two, go. sixth set is kind of the make or break for me. I've noticed if I struggle on the sixth one, if I start to feel fatigued, it's tough to make it the remaining four. And on the contrary, if you feel good on your sixth set, um, you'll probably get through the rest of the workout. 15 seconds. So it's just kind of a little uh, mental checkpoint, you know, make it to the sixth minute, and then just push a little further. Five seconds. Three, two, go. All right. Still feeling good. to sip water as I work out, um, especially with the warmer weather, recommend doing that as well. I'm not very vigilant in drinking a certain amount of water, I think generally you should listen to your body, but when you work out, I think it's good, you're going to be sweating, you're going to be losing water, might as well put it back in. 10 seconds, 
five, three, go. So good. Two more. Uh, 30 seconds. 25 seconds. Let's start to focus. Control your breathing. Deep breaths help you recover. Fast breaths help you when you're working out to get through it. 10 seconds. Five seconds. Three, two, go. Again, deep breaths, slow deep breaths in between your sets. It's going to help get oxygen to your muscles, help you recover. It's going to get your heart rate down. And then when you're doing your workout, I don't really think much of my breathing, maybe because I've been doing it for so long. It's, uh, it's really subconscious, but I'm doing sharp, fast breaths. It's almost... Um, you know, fuel your body with oxygen at that time when the demand is high. Five seconds. Two, one, go. good one feeling pumped up feeling good um, chest is feeling full we got a sweat going we got through not a big problem um, next time we do dips will be a 25 but uh, next week we'll do push-ups so alternating between dips and push-ups hitting chest once a week if you guys have any questions let me know and we'll see you next time